Hi, this is Jake with Cop Tool. Today I am here with the Milwaukee 30 inch steel tool organizer. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is obviously this is not going to come nice and put together like this. Uh, it does take a little bit of assembly. You will need some tools, but just a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, the first thing that you do when you put it together is you attach a handle. That's the only thing that you're going to need the 10 millimeter socket for. Once you have the handle attached, you're going to lay it down on its back. Obviously the top part isn't attached, but you lay it down on its back. You attach the casters, you can tip it back up, attach the bumpers, and then pick up the top and attach the top to it. Uh, both the top and the bottom by themselves weigh well over 100 pounds, so if you're not comfortable picking up and moving 100 pounds on your own, you might want to get somebody to help you put it back together. The toolbox itself includes 12 soft close drawers with drawer liners, which was nice to have some drawer liners that come with it. The soft close itself kind of takes a little bit of getting used to. When I close a drawer, I kind of look for a nice satisfying slam, but the soft close doesn't have that. It all because it's a soft close, it always uh, stops a little bit short and goes real slow for the last inch. This will probably help you keep your tools more organized because you aren't going to slam your door closed and have a bunch of tools rattling around inside every time you close a drawer. So 12 soft close drawers, that does include the pull out work surface. So if you look here, you have a fully extendable work surface that you can pull out. It does have storage. It does independently lock. So when I saw it, I thought, oh good, I have a place to put my laptop if I need to use my laptop when I'm working in my garage. Each drawer is rated for 100 pounds. Uh, I actually had a 100 pound weight in this drawer. And with the rest of the toolbox being empty, it could support 100 pounds in this drawer and not tip over. I thought that was pretty impressive. The top has nine inches of clearance and a peg hook. Uh, you got a promotional sticker in here, but it actually has a whole peg hook instead of half of a peg hook with a sticker. Uh, it's got nine inches of clearance and it is fairly tall, so this top does have a gas assist to help it go up. Uh, you don't really need to put more than a flick of the wrist to get the entire thing to go up here. A along with the gas assist and the peg hook, there is a pass through for cords in the top here. Uh, so if you want to keep chargers or a charger up here on top, then you don't have to worry about organizing the cords to be able to get to the top of the tool chest. Speaking of cords, there is an integrated power strip. The cord itself is pretty long, so you do have a decent amount of leeway as to how far away you can keep the tool chest from an outlet. And you can either force the cord back into the pass-through, or there is a cord organizer that you can use if you're not using the entire length of cord. The Milwaukee Tool Organizer chest goes for about $500, not including delivery. Uh, my general impression is, first of all, I was surprised at how big it is. Uh, as you can see, I'm about six foot three, and it's every bit as tall or almost as tall as I am. Uh, so it can really hold a lot. It can really help you organize a lot of tools. Uh, I'm excited to get my garage back in order now that I have it. It's got a nice powder coat finish, so I'm sure it's going to last a long time for me. And on top of that, it's pretty easy to move around with the four casters. So uh, overall, I'm really satisfied with this particular tool chest, and I'm looking forward to using it for a long time. That's just a quick preview of this. Be sure to stay tuned for a full write-up on coptool.com. Be sure to subscribe and like, and stay tuned to Coptool for more updates on Milwaukee and a lot of other premium tool brands.